What's up you guys? So today I'm going to be explaining how I turned $500 into $30,000 in just one week. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get going. What's up you guys? Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about creating financial freedom through stocks, options, crypto, and NFTs. If that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification so that you guys don't miss a thing from whenever I drop my next videos, okay? Also, I would like to preface this video by saying I am not a professional, nor am I a financial advisor. So anything that is produced on this channel is solely my own personal thoughts and opinions, and that's it. Solely for entertainment purposes only, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I was able to turn $500 into $30,000 trading options in just one week. Okay. Now you're probably wondering what ticker it is. Of course, you know, um, if you look at my previous videos, it is literally AMC. Okay. And I hadn't traded AMC in quite some time, but after monitoring it for months and months and months, I felt like at this point it was probably a true bottom and that we were going to start seeing some momentum flying in uh, into the stock at some point in the future. So uh, I'll go ahead and show my screen. We'll dive into my screen and I'll show you exactly what I played, what I saw and um, what was my thought process kind of going through. Uh, I'll even show the screenshots of where I posted in, in a discord group that I'm involved with and I'll even post, uh, you know, I'll show you guys what the overall profit ended up looking like. It was just over $30,000 and I was lucky enough to actually profit um, because just after that. It's been in a downtrend ever since and right now it looks like it's ready for another reversal but you know, who knows really to be honest. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. And here we go. Okay. So right now we're currently looking at, uh, AMC's chart as it is trading today, today being, uh, April 19th, 2022. Okay. At the time of this recording, but what I want to go over is what I was recognizing, why I felt like we were at a, um, why we were expecting to see some type of, uh, reversal in the near future okay so as you guys know amc has been in this long downtrend for god knows what how long right so it hit 72 dollars, and it's just been in this enormous downtrend now for me this looks like a huge huge bull flag or most people like to say falling wedge pattern okay typically those are bullish patterns and um where I played it was here off of this, they call it a double bottom. So as you can see, you have here and here. That would be considered to me, I, I noticed it and I considered it a double bottom. I figured some momentum would start coming in soon. And then all I did was just track the volume from day to day just to make sure that I wasn't wrong on my initial thesis for entering the trade, okay? So... Let's go ahead and remove these. Okay. And what I'm going to do actually right now is I'm going to actually show you guys right here. Here is the original post, uh, the screenshot from when I posted it in the Discord. It was on a Tuesday. It was Tuesday, March 22nd, okay, which... If we're looking at it right here, which was about here around $15, okay? I was going based off of the daily candles and pattern formations that I had seen previously based on the previous run here, okay? Mainly what I was playing was, was right here, this portion right here, okay? I was using a, a combination of Fibonacci retracements. I was also using um, candlestick patterns. Uh, a lot. I was using indicators and I'll show you my indicators right now. These are all my indicators that I use, but I don't keep them up on my screen because I don't like to solely rely on those indicators. These are just kind of to give me um, an indication of where it could possibly go in the future. And I always like using these indicators on the higher time frames. 15 minutes, five minute time frames, they don't really work for me. Um, I would consider myself a swing trader just because. Um, you know, I would, I, I usually get 
the move right, but sometimes what I've noticed is that it takes a little bit of time for my thesis to actually play out. And it's usually correct um, most of the time. Okay. What I was noticing here was, as you can see, we've been in this downtrend. This is from January, where they took away the buy button all the way down to when they ran it up in June, okay? So obviously we are in a similar formation pattern as well. Uh, and basically what I was just kind of identifying was, you know, just similar patterns. If you don't understand what happens with some of these uh, stocks, the majority of the stocks are run by algorithms. So high frequency trading algorithms. So most of the time the algorithm is going to repeat its cycle when it's ready. And, um, you know, there's nobody on the other side just trading this thing, you know, just staring at the chart, trading it. They have algorithms for this thing. OK, so basically I found a point where I thought, you know, the stock might be. And as you can see here, we've been basing for some time. We consolidated literally from January 19th all the way until March. And the longer the consolidation, the higher the push you can expect typically, in my opinion, and from what I've learned, uh, you know, in the last year and a half that I've been trading is that uh, the longer the consolidation, typically the bigger the move in whichever direction you think is gonna happen. And as you can see, we consolidated here between this $20 and we bottomed out. We had another double bottom right here around 1327 ish somewhere right there and for me i just felt like it was time like this this stock had been drastically oversold so what i did was i just entered into some far out of the money i don't always recommend this but i basically put 500 dollars worth on two different strike prices on amc i bought the 60 about the 60 calls for 414 which was you know uh april 14th and then i also bought the 30 dollar calls for the same exact expiration okay so i was actually buying time and for me like i said i'm a swing trader i would consider myself a swing trader that is what swing trading is it's like you're expecting a move to happen and you're expecting it to happen within a certain time period now with options you don't want to hold to expiration because it's not always going to be the case where you can um where the stock is actually going to hit your strike price the point of playing options is because you can actually well it's very obvious that you can turn 500 dollars into thirty thousand dollars if you can identify a pattern and you can come up with uh you know with a trading plan and that's something i always recommend make sure that you have your own trading plan whenever you are trading uh otherwise you're just going to end up losing money because options are very volatile and they're very risky you can actually lose all your money compared to if you're trading just the stock you're not going to lose your money you might take you might hold on to some losses but you know if you really do believe in the stock it's going to reverse and you're going to regain those uh, losses, you know, in, in a shorter time frame than obviously with options, you're literally hoping for this stock to go to a certain a certain price point. So that way you can exit. You never want to hold options long term unless you have like a far outdated uh, uh, options expiration because they do have expirations. OK, I'll go over that in some other videos. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and try to keep it short. Um, let's let's go ahead and move up. All right. So what I was looking at was, again, the consolidation that had been happening. Um, I had another trend line drawn down here and it had actually broken out of that trend line and came down, retested. I literally was expecting I was telling one of my buddies like, hey, I think we're going to come around 13, 14 dollars and that's where I'm going to add stock. I'm actually going to buy more stock at these price points so it hit my levels it hit about as far as i thought it was going to go and um when you're looking at the daily okay i was looking here once i was looking at what was happening here we had a bullish reversal here so these are hammer candles this is a hammer uh candle and then we actually had a bullish engulfing candle here uh, i kind of waited to see what was going to happen i didn't want to jump in too early which i could have but Again, when it comes to options, you want to make sure that you're seeing something that you like before you actually enter the trade. There's confirmations that you want to see. And for me, since I, I noticed here that 
this red candle right around here was an inside bar to me i felt like okay there's possibility that we could go higher i entered probably around like 1560 or so so i entered on this next day on this candle right around here which was march uh 22nd sorry so it was actually right here around 1580 there you go and i entered that morning i just jumped into it and then next thing you know we had a nice you know what three dollar move okay I re-entered the same exact options that I owned after selling them for a profit. And the reason why I sold them was because I was I was up significantly. And, and the goal was to try to accumulate more options contracts just based off of the profit. OK, so what I did, uh, I sold, let it kind of drop down just a little bit. And as it got cheaper, I bought these for about 30 to 40 cents higher. Um, but I was able to get more options contracts, right? The very next week we had Monday right here. And then Tuesday we had this crazy halt down um, and pretty much kind of been in this downtrend ever since, okay? Um, but that's pretty much what I was able to do. I just identified patterns and I just tried to identify, you know, when the stock was going to drop at certain price points and then what I felt comfortable risking and pretty much what I did was I turned 500 into 6,000 and then I turned 6,000 into the 30 okay so solely my only risk was just $500 it was nothing more than that and I felt comfortable with if if I lost $500 I was going to be okay all right um this is the power of options whenever you're able to act, when you put the time in, whenever you put the time in to study options Greeks, the, the technical analysis of charts, you can make a significant living just trading stock as long as you take out some emotion and you use proper risk management. And this is an example of that, okay? Um, now, is that gonna happen every single day? No, it's highly unlikely unless you are just like a complete killer when it comes to this but a lot of times when you're playing with your own money a lot of emotions can get tied into that so you know nobody likes losing money you're, the goal is to get money not lose money all right um so uh the the platform that i'm using to chart though is trading view and if any of you guys would like to sign up you get a free 30 dollars, and then you also get uh, i want to say it's about a week free trial but I'm almost positive that it's like a month. You get a full month free trial. Um, and, you know, they're saying, hey, you know, you want to sign up for this? It's com it's completely free. And, I mean, you do have to enter some credit card information just in case you choose to not cancel the subscription. But it is essentially free. And you can always just set a reminder, okay, you know, this thing is set to charge my card on this date. And you could cancel it beforehand without any risk of you being charged um you know for the for the service but i think this is probably one of the best charting services that i've had um you can use you know for me i actually like using either schwab or e-trade pro another one is thinkorswim through td ameritrade those are some good um softwares to have um in terms of trading but for for this one i i like it because it's got various different uh options for charting uh indicators um, certain tools that you can use. I really love this trading view. And again, if you want to sign up, feel free to just uh, use the link down below. I'd really appreciate it. And you would be supporting the channel. But yeah, guys, in a nutshell, uh, I probably didn't do the best explaining. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I'm going to be getting back into it and everything will get better, I can assure you. And guys, if you're out there trading, what now? I can tell you this is probably by far one of my best trades I've ever made via options. Now I've made really good trades with stock, um, but for options, this is my best trade by far by turning in. And as you get better at trading, you really want to minimize your risk at even more and try to uh, get as much profit out of that you know smaller risk so something like a 500 to 30,000 is awesome some people put 5,000 just to put just to earn 5,000 right um so that's a large risk like i mean yes it's still 100% return but 
my profits were in the thousands of percents okay uh the first day one of my options contracts went 1500 percent that's when i sold it i waited for a retracement and i re-entered okay um if you guys like this content or if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below with your thoughts on the video um and also let me know what your best trade is if you're trading the markets okay and that's going to conclude today's video guys for more videos like this one hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that way you guys don't miss a thing for whenever i drop my next video drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think of the video or just let me know what your best trade has ever been trading the markets are you trading crypto are you trading stocks are you trading options or are you flipping nfts those are real things <laughs> uh be safe be smart and remember create your own opportunities peace